So in this video, we'll talk about the prerequisites for Android programming. Now, there are two basic prerequisites that you should know. One is XML and second is Java. Uh, hold on, it's not that difficult. You should know about XML, basics of XML. Now, everyone knows about HTML, right? So you already have, maybe you have already designed a web page. So if you know HTML, it is very easy to learn XML. It's all about tags. The difference will be in HTML, you have all predefined tags. In XML, you can have your own tags. But the thing is, Android itself, they have their own tags. And then you have to use Android tags in XML. Okay, uh, again, there are lots of things you should know in XML, but not now. You should know about the basics of XML. Once we start with the programming, you will get to know lots of different tags available. Okay, so thing is, you should know about tags. You should know about how to create, how, what, what are tags inside tag, how to assign a value to a tag. That's it. You know, if you know all those things in XML, you're good to go. The next thing you require is Java knowledge. Now, not everything in Java, some of the core features of Java, the basics of Java. Uh, so if you know, you should know about the OOPS concept. Uh, OOPS is object oriented programming system. You should know about object, you should know about class. You should know how to get a class. You should know how to extend a class, which is inheritance. You should know polymorphism a bit. Uh, you should know about uh, abstraction, uh, how to create abstract classes. Uh, most important, you should know about encapsulation. So if you know about the OOPS concept, then we can, you should know about interfaces. Now interface is very important because uh, when you work on Android applications, so there, are, there will be lots of time, you will be using existing libraries. You'll be have to import existing libraries. And maybe in those libraries, you'll be having interfaces. So you should have a basic idea about interface. So that's a thing you should know. But you should also know some extra things so that it will be helpful for you to learn Android very easily. Uh, some, something called as exception handling because in your application there might be lots of exceptions. So you have to handle those, those exceptions with the help of again Java code. So you should know about exception handling. Uh, next will be uh, threads because uh, if you talk about mobile market now, mobile, mobile phones now, we have multiple cores, right? We will be having a single core processor. We have multi-core processor, which is dual core, quad core, maybe octa core. So just imagine we have octa core CPUs now. So what you want, your application should be able to use all the cores. And to make it work, you should know the concept of threads. Maybe you're building a web-based application where you want to send a request to the server. Again, you should have a knowledge of threads. So it will be helpful if you know exception handling, you know about threads. Now, one more advan one more thing you should know is uh, about the listeners and adapters. Uh, what is listener? So let's say you are creating an application where you want to click on a button. And of course, right, when you use an application, you have buttons, you have, uh, you have scrolls. So you have to apply something called listeners. Uh, how to learn about listeners? If you, if you have ever learned about Swing in Java. So in Swing, we use buttons, we use labels, we use, uh, we use text fields. So there, there we apply listeners. So if you have a knowledge about Swing, it will be helpful for this, this series. So again, there, there, there are lots of things in Java you should know. Basics of it, not the uh, deep knowledge. So I'll be having the list in the description area, don't worry. Oh, but hold on, from where do you learn all those things? Or if you already know about these things, how will you brush on for your concept? For that, I have my own videos on Java, so you can just go back to the tutorials, take one or two day off, don't just rush towards Android now, start with Java and then learn Android because it's very easy to learn Android. But the thing is, you should know about the core part of Java. If you don't know core Java, then it is difficult to learn Android. Okay, so I'll be, based, I'll be, I'll be having all the uh, links in this description area. So there are two requisites you should know before starting Android. And in the next video, we'll talk about prerequisites you should have in your machine so that you can write Android codes. So thank you.